Let's fire it up. My exhaust for the Road Glide showed up. We got the two into one header in this box and the dummy pipe in this box. So let's go ahead and open it up and install it on the bike. Alright guys, so I just opened up the box. Look like, looks like we have the header pipe here, the two into one header pipe, and it has the little bungs on the back of the exhaust for the O2 sensors. And then I just opened up this box here, which has one of the tips in it, which this is the exhaust tip that goes onto the two into one side. Um, and it has all your clamps and directions. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this apart, get all the clamps out, and uh, get started with this install. So here's the exhaust tip for the, the header side, and as you can see, it does have the carbon fiber tip on the end. So this is, I ordered the black system with uh, carbon fiber tips. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but four inch exhaust, well at the opening it's four inches, and yeah, looks killer. Let's get it on. So this is like a megaphone style. Uh, muffler so it starts out and like a three inch I think and then goes into a four and a half at the end so I'm pretty pumped they look sweet I can't wait to get them on the bike so let's go ahead and get started with this install alright guys so in this box here we had the muffler for the left side and which is the dummy pipe or what's called the ghost pipe uh, and then we've got the ghost pipe header that just goes under the um, saddlebag and then over towards the motor. I'll show you guys that once we install it. And then the heat shield for that and the clamps for that side. So that's what came in this box. Also, we have our heat shields for the header pipe that was in this box. And so we got the, you know each pipe's heat shield and then the, where it goes into two into one, that's the heat shield for that part. So. That's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, unwrap everything and get started. All right guys, so I'm just gonna give you an overview of what the pipe looks like stock before we tear into this and put the new pipe on. I'm also going to start the bike up, let it warm up and uh, let you guys hear it stock before we go ahead and put the exhaust on so you can you guys can tell the difference between stock and with the two into one jackpot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now and uh, let you guys hear it stock.
right, so we got the saddlebags off, and the first thing we're gonna do is take a 13 millimeter socket and bust off the muffler here, and then we'll get to the clamp next. So the bags are off, now it's time to get the muffler off with a 13 millimeter socket. All right guys, so to take off the muffler, you need a 15 millimeter socket for this nut here, and then you have your 13 millimeter socket for these, and then the muffler will come right off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright, so now that the right side muffler is off, we're going to go ahead and take the left side muffler off. You need a 15 millimeter socket for that nut as well. And then as soon as you get that off, you go over here, bust off these 13 millimeter bolts, and then this will come off. The same. You also have to take off this clamp here, which is a 13 millimeter bolt. And that's basically uh, connected to the trans. So you want to go ahead and take that off so that your, um, your left side muffler comes off. If you don't take that off, it won't come off. So. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the O2 sensors, which are right here and right here. So one's front and one's rear. Make sure you don't uh, mix those up because the bike will not perform right if you have them flip-flop. So just keep an eye on which one is the rear O2 sensor and which one's the front before you unplug these. All right, guys, just so you know, the black plug here is the back side of the pipe, the white plug is from the front header pipe. So just so you guys know, the back is black, white is front. Okay, so now it's time to take the header pipe off. You're gonna use a half inch socket on the header pipe nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and break those loose and take the header pipes off, or the header pipe rather. All right, good. All right guys, to make things easier, we're gonna go ahead and take the floorboard off. This is a 5 16 Allen and we're gonna use, we have sockets for them. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, that to get these off. So I recommend using some blue tape just to tape off your gloss black frame and you know, like your brake arm and stuff, just in case you slip and, and nick it, you don't wanna nick the gloss black part. So we went ahead and uh, did the transmission cover as well. So that's just a preventative. So I recommend using those, uh, using some blue painter's tape. All right, so now we're gonna take the O2 sensors out of the stock header pipe using a line wrench, and it's actually a 9 16ths is the size, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so now we got the O2 sensors in the new uh, header pipe, and they also have a different bung on here for, I don't know if you have like, run EGT monitors or whatever, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it with the supplied uh, plug that they sent from Jackpot. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it with those because all we do is use the factory size O2 sensor uh, bung holes there. So we got them all installed there. Now we're getting ready to put the header pipe back on the bike. All right, so now before we install the header pipe on the bike, we have to take these clamps off, the factory clamps with the snap ring. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Take the snap ring off the stock header and then put them on the aftermarket header pipe. But yes, you must have, you have to take these off or else this pipe will not work. That stinks. All right guys, so we got, all right, so now that we have the header pipe ready to install on the bike, we've got the clamps all here. We got the O2 sensors installed. So now it's time to put the heat shields on the header pipe itself. So use the clamps that are provided, which are over here. Use the clamps that are provided 
put them in the new heat shields and then put the heat shields on the pipe before you put the pipe on the bike. It'll be a lot easier for you. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and then throw the header pipe on the bike. Okay. All right, so now that we got the heat shield on the header pipe, we're gonna go ahead and throw it up on the bike here. We got everything taped up so that we don't hit any of the gloss black parts. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw the header pipe on now. All right, so now that we have the header pipe tightened down, we are now ready to slip the muffler on. So we're gonna go ahead and slip that on now. So make sure you put your clamp on here first before you put your muffler on. So we're gonna go ahead and All right guys, so we got the muffler on. Man, as you can see, this carbon fiber looks sweet on here. So we got the muffler on, and you can see here it says jackpot. And then we're gonna put the provided bolts that they give you with the exhaust system. We're gonna put those in there just like that. We use the factory mounts with their bolts. I think they're the same size and same everything as the stock bolts, but we're gonna go ahead and use the ones they provided. We got the pipe on, we got all the heat shields on, we got the heat shield to go over the megaphone muffler, all tightened up, all the rest of the heat shields tightened up. What do you guys think? I think it turned out great. So we're gonna go ahead and do the air cleaner next and then flash it with the tune from Fuel Moto. Um, you wanna do both of those things before you start it up because the bike isn't gonna wanna react with the stock tune in it to this new two into one header pipe. So. We're gonna go through those steps next. All right, so we're starting on the air cleaner now, and you need a 5 16 Allen wrench to take the main bolt out. In order to take the air filter off, you need a T25 Torx bit driver, and we're taking that off now. All right, so now you need a 7 16th socket to take off the two main bolts holding on the air cleaner cover. So I went with a Roland Sands Designs air cleaner. I'll put a link in the description below on where you guys can get this. Um, I went with the turbine looking one. It's all black aluminum, looks really good. And then it came with your breather bolts here so there's a hole through here so that the blow by oil goes through them and then also they give you they supply you with a gasket and then these here go on top of your breather bolts and then I'll show you guys once we get it mounted up but this is actually these tubes these breather tubes um, put your blow by oil back into the intake manifold which is right here and a lot of air cleaners don't supply those and aren't set up like this and you'll have oil dripping down from because your air cleaner doesn't seal and oil will come out of here and drip down onto your motor or onto your pipe so that's why I went with the Roland Sands air cleaner because it has the breather bolts that have the tubes that go back into the intake so I'll show you guys how that works here in just a second so in order to run this air cleaner we need to take off this bracket here two five millimeter bolts here allen bolts we're gonna take those out and remove this bracket so now we're gonna take the plate, the back of the air cleaner plate, and put it up here. Make sure you use the gasket they provide, to the new gasket to go around the throttle body. And then we're gonna use the two bolts that they provide here to bolt this plate down. All right, so we're gonna use the 3 16 bolts provided to uh, bolt the plate down around the throttle body on the you know Roland Sands back plate here. Uh, the factory bolts will not work there too long, so you have to use the ones provided here. All right, so now you're going to put your breather bolts in, and these here are 15 millimeter. All right, so now we're gonna put our breather tubes on here. And they fit right in the spot there. Put them around the breather bolts, and then they fit flush against the plate here. 
And this is what I was talking about, how the overflow oil, the, the crankcase breather basically is what it acts like. Um, if there's any blow-by oil, it overflows back into the intake instead of just running down your motor here and getting oil all over your pipes or all over your timing cover. So that's a nice feature that the Roland Sands intake does, or I'm sorry, air cleaner does have. All right, so this plate here goes over the breather tubes. And then now it's ready for the filter to bolt onto that. So we got the filter on, and now we're just tightening it up here. All right, guys, so we got the pipe on, we got the air cleaner on, and now we're ready to tune this thing. So all this came from Fuel Moto. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can get every part, the air cleaner, the pipe, and the power vision. This here is how we're gonna tune it. We went with the DinoJet power vision show you guys here power vision and there it is now fuel moto went ahead and programmed a tune in here for my air cleaner and um, uh, pipe so it's already been dyno tuned they did a bike they, they've done a couple of these actually that the same motor it's got the 114 with the air cleaner and the jackpots two into one road and track with the power vision tuner and I'll, I'll put other information in the description as far as like what it makes for power and whatnot. But um, so yeah, this is already programmed. The tune's already programmed in here. So now all we have to do is plug it into the bike here. So let's go ahead and flash this thing so we can go ahead and start it up. All right, so the first step, once you get it hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition switch on to the run position. And the power vision tuner lights up. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit on. Hit accept. see that's the tune that fuel moto loaded on the power vision which is slot one so you can tell it's see it's a 19 2019 uh, 114 cubic inch it's got an air cleaner and then the jackpot two into one exhaust so we're gonna go ahead and download that tune now so you select it and then hit OK and there it is then you hit continue and then you hit flash so you want to say yes to this. It's asking if you want to learn the field trims. So you hit yes, and then now it's writing the tune. It's that simple, guys. Please turn key off. So you want to, when you turn the key off, you want to go ahead and wait 10 seconds before you turn the key back on to power it up. All right, guys, so this is the first startup of the jackpots, two into one, road and track, system i don't have the dummy pipe on there yet but i will be putting it on there it won't sound any different with the dummy pipe so here we go first start up on a 114 it's a 2019 road glide with the 114 cubic inch motor so let's fire it up
that we got the header pipe side done, we went ahead and installed the ghost pipe. And this is really easy. I didn't end up videoing it, kind of got carried away and totally forgot. But uh, it's really easy. It's a two-piece system. They have a fake header pipe here that's not painted black. And then you've got the megaphone style muffler that is black, flat black. And this obviously clamps on to here. This dummy pipe, or what's called ghost pipe, bolts to the back of the transmission case. And I'll go to the other side so you can see what I'm talking about. There's two bolts that go into the case and then there's another bolt that has uh, the clamp that holds this on. So it's very easy, very simple install. I'll go to the other side to show you um, what, it, what I'm talking about as far as bolting up to the uh, transmission case. So it's kind of hard to see under here because it's dark, but there's two Allen bolts that this bracket bolts to and this is on the back of the transmission case. And then you have the clamp that holds the dummy pipe or the ghost pipe here and there's one bolt here that's a half inch nut and then uh, you go ahead and tighten that up and then this is solid and sturdy and it's attached to the bike and it will not move all right guys well we got both bags back on and let me show you guys what it looks like with the bags on the big four and a half inch tips stick out just perfectly like you look down you see the carbon fiber rings on each side they don't stick out too much they're not too gaudy they're very subtle and they look really tough on this bike Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the fitment. I do like how meaty the exhausts are coming out the back. They look really mean compared to most exhausts coming out the back. And being that this is a two into one, not just slip-ons, the bike will perform, well, should perform. I can't speak on that yet. I haven't tested it, but the bike should perform a lot better going from a two into one. And then obviously on the left side here is a, is a dummy pipe or what most people call a ghost pipe, meaning that nothing comes out of that. That's a fake pipe. Um, it's just there for looks and most people with stretched bags which the specials come with stretched bags as many of you may know um, you need that ghost pipe or else you have an awkward hole on the left side and it looks stupid so um, you got to have the ghost pipe but uh, yeah overall I'm very satisfied with the install there was a couple little things we had to tweak as far as fitment wise but overall I'm very impressed with this exhaust it looks great it sounds great and I will do more comparison videos for you guys here in the next couple days I'm gonna compare my 2019 road glide special which is seen here I'm gonna compare that against the uh, 2015 road glide here this is got the 103 in it with a stage one as well uh, it's got the power vision tuner with the Thunderheader exhaust two into one with the same Roland Sands air cleaner and then here we got my dad's 18 this here is a 107 with a D&D exhaust the power vision tuner and the screaming eagle air cleaner so we're going to be doing a lot of comparison videos between all three bikes. I'm going to be doing sound clip videos between the D&D, which is here, the Thunderheader on this one, and the new Jackpot Road and Track 2 into one on my 19. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all those videos. I have a lot more content coming um, on this bike. Every part I do, every part I install, I will be doing a video on and doing reviews on. So I will be doing more um, moto vlogs as well. I'm going to strap the GoPro on my helmet and do riding videos for you guys and uh, just basically, you know, review these bikes. There's a lot to review on them and I'll get into the new screen, the how the new 114 engine performs. Like I'm going to get into all that. So this is all just getting started. I had to do the exhaust first. <laughs> the exhaust, the stock exhaust kills me. It's too quiet. And um, I'm hoping that this thing doing the air cleaner, the exhaust and the tune, basically the stage one. I'm hoping that opens it up and wakes it up a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So let's get out and ride this thing. So that's gonna complete today's install video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Peace.